on this edition of the cult of WD Muhammad Exposed, we will expose the hidden sex scandal of WD Muhammad. It is now known that WD's daughter and oldest child, Layla Muhammad, has admitted to cult members in the outside world that her father, Imam W.D. Muhammad, had many wives. He was an American polygamist. His first wife was Shirley Muhammad, who had nine children. Next was Lorraine, who had two children. Next was Thelma, who had three children. Next was Bina, who had three children. And the last was Khadija Sadiq. Khadija was born into the cult to a close friend and power player inside the cult, Muhammad Sadiq. This final wife shocked even the most loyal cult members because the rumors of WD's lust for young girls was known to the inner circle of the cult, but now this marriage to a girl 50 years younger than him made it known to the rank and file members. WD feared that he would lose control over the cult and he quickly put out a statement in defense of his new young bride. But Imam W.D. Muhammad can't marry a girl 20 without being suspected. See, this is a khutbah. You shouldn't bring that in. Yes, I should. The khutbah is for correcting Muslim behavior. And really, I feel sorry for you who are hurt because you are not in my house. I'm sorry. Maybe you should have came before she came. Who knows? So I, I have to defend myself. And I know if that person is saying this, that, there are others saying it and thinking it. And then there's our enemies feeding on it and feeding it to others. The, I get letters from Muslims saying that now I doubt your integrity because you have married a female much younger, considerably younger than yourself. And you should stay out of private business. After the statement was released to the cult, many other young girls that were sexual victims of W.D. Muhammad came forward. One victim, Arnetta Safir, posted her story on the internet. Arnetta was born into the cult in the city of Cincinnati, Ohio, to cult members William and Stephanie Safir. W.D. would call Arnetta to move to the city of Chicago to work directly for him. Arnetta went, excited to help a man who she was taught all her life was her divine leader. But as soon as she got to Chicago, she found out what W.D. Muhammad really wanted. Fearing that she would upset the God that she was taught all her life about, Arnetta allowed W.D. Muhammad to take her to bed. Arnetta would confess to her father what happened, but her father would reject her to stay loyal to his cult leader. And then the culture, you know, Muhammad, my email my mentor, my beloved trusted friend like his daddy Elijah and their penchant for light-skinned women yanking up to be their granddaughters. Liar. 
abusing his position of my regard, lured me up to Chicago under false pretenses. Offer me a job that I couldn't refuse. Trying to holler at me, although he knew I was married. Had to ask him, what the fuck can a 67 year old man do for me? But I was betrayed. My foundation shook. Begin to question everything I ever believed in that daddy didn't believe me. Crucified on the altar of religious conformity. See, daddy chose loyalty to WD. Had to find my own truth. Now, my God, nameless. My religion, none. And I dwell beneath the veil of light. Free. The lies they told me, the lies I believed. Rest in peace. After the death of W.D. Muhammad, the remaining leadership of the cult, including his son, W.D. Jr., attempted to hide the marriages to the very young women. They are now in court fighting in probate over the estate.